Hello everybody and welcome back to Sunshine Islands. It is our first day of year two and I am so excited. I am so ready to just start over. It kind of feels like starting over. We'll be able to kind of have a redo of the year and uh, hopefully we will be able to do even better than we managed to do last year now that we've sort of established ourselves and we have some more options. So today is a festival. We go right from New Year's Eve to sort of a New Year's Day festival. This is the Rice Candy Festival and it is a day festival. So thankfully we can go and enjoy our time and then in the evening everything will open up. So we will still have the opportunity to go and buy seeds and uh, speak to people. So I've already gone ahead and I have fed the animals, I took care of that off screen. And what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to start by using my hoe to till some land that we can then put uh, crops on. Unfortunately, I've put my blue and my red wonderful on my watering can, so I have to do this one square at a time, but you know what, it's okay, because I'm just kind of setting up. Today I don't really have a whole lot else to do, and uh, once the cafe opens up after the festival, there's no reason I can't go to the cafe and grab my usual sandwich if I want to get some more stamina and uh, thankfully watering is going to be much much easier because I did put some wonderfuls into the watering can. So I think I'm going to start with six squares and some of these I might have to fill in the hole in the middle uh, depending on what crop it is. If it's something that's replenishable, then no, I won't fill the hole in because we kind of, you know, lose one crop anyways. But if it's going to be turnips, for example, or potatoes, then uh, I can go ahead and fill these in. But I figured six is a good number to start out with. We're going to have more options for different crops this time around as well. So after seeing the variety that we're working with, we can kind of mix it up and uh, choose what it is that we want to put there. I don't think I have anything in my bag that I want to sell currently. Nope. And I can do other things like go and check on my pig later on. I think I'll wait to do that just because I have no idea what the weather is going to be like. And depending on the weather, I'll either have to bring my pig inside or I can just simply leave it outside. You can see that the abundance of foraged items are back, which I love to see. I'm not a huge fan of the weeds, I must say. I didn't miss the weeds in the wintertime at all. It was really nice having a beautiful, clean field, but I do... Uh, miss the colored herbs and the flowers and stuff when they're gone. We also have the uh, rock that's going to give us seaweed has come back for this season. So again, just trying to kind of utilize the amount of time that I have before the festival ends because it's going to end automatically at 6 p.m. when we go, so burn as much of the daylight doing my activities as I can. And I would fish. I don't have a ton of stamina left though, and I think I actually... Yes, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure I actually left my fishing rod at home, and I did. So, uh, I couldn't fish anyways, but you know what, that's okay. I've spent a lot of time recently fishing, and we've got many a festival to get to in the springtime, so I'm not worried. I can do it another day. Alright, Rice Candy Festival. We've got Ganon here, Chen. Aw, oh, even Elisa's here, that's nice. I like when the other villagers from the uh, outer islands come to visit. 
So this is another food related festival it looks like. And Will's here. And apparently we are going to be pounding rice with a mallet. That sounds interesting. So again, quite a few villagers have come today, which is really nice. And this is very similar to the festival that we just attended yesterday, the New Year's Eve festival. It's not something that we can win any wonderfuls in, but it's still nice to talk to the villagers and Taro is going to give us something when we leave. So when you're ready, you can speak to him. All right, it's your turn. Help us mix the batter. That mallet looks heavy. But it's kind of cool. It was like a big group effort. To the new year. This rice candy is yours to take home. The rice candy tasted great. What a great start to the new year. Alright, so that was that. Short and sweet. And how many pieces of rice candy did we get from Taro? We got another 11 pieces, which is great. Now, rice candy is actually very unique because the rice candy festival is the only way in this game to get it. There is no other way to get rice candy at all. It is used in, I think, two different recipes, both at the diner. And it can be used in cooking as well. And then otherwise you can sell it. So it doesn't sell for as much as the buckwheat flour did, despite how rare it is. So it's completely up to you. Personally, I would keep it just because you'll be able to make some pretty uh, unique sort of recipes with it. And it's in a limited amount as well. So I'm going to keep mine and I'm also going to use uh, two of them to learn some recipes, but I'll do that later. Right now my focus is going to be planting, of course. That's kind of my main thing that I want to do today. I don't want to get behind on that. I want to get a fresh head start. I should also check the weather for tomorrow because if it's raining tomorrow, I don't want to over water. And it is going to rain tomorrow. Well, look at that. Well, that'll be perfect. That means I don't actually have to water. I can just buy them from Chan, plant them, and then be on my way, basically. I also mentioned having to redo one of the days. And in the process of doing that, I forgot to re-equip my hoe with the yellow wonderful so i'm going to do that right now while i'm at charlie's uh nope not the x try again come on you can do this pick the right thing yellow and just because i'm here i might as well put the purple one in there too because we need to be able to till the rice patty I wish I had more blues and reds. This is a, a moment when I could potentially, and I guess I could potentially uh, swap some of the wonderfuls into the um, hoe from the watering can just to make it a little bit easier. So if we remove a red one, and we put it into the hoe instead, it'll give us a little bit more range and that'll probably give me a little bit of time to go and fix up the patty before I actually need to water. Uh, I'm also going to give Chen a gift. I have a gift in my bag just for him. And it looks like he's going to give us his gift sunstone, which is fantastic. I found the stone the other day. I heard you were looking for these. Please accept it. 
Thank you very much. I'm one stone away from ten. Alright, so let's buy seeds before I get uh, carried away and I forget. So this year you can see that we have the addition of cucumber seeds and strawberry seeds. Um, in the first year I do believe we only had the opportunity to grow turnips and potatoes. So cucumbers and strawberries are both replenishable. So once you plant them they will keep giving you stuff. You only have to plant them once. Strawberries I find to be very fickle. Um, they are very, very sensitive to water and to light, but if everything goes right, they actually grow quite quickly, which is uh, definitely a plus. So I have six plots right now, currently, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with turnips. We'll do two rows of uh, potatoes as well, and then we'll do one plot of uh, cucumbers and one plot of strawberries. Just to start out with, I think that'll be good. All right. Since it's gonna rain tomorrow, I'm going to go over to Mushroom Island. I'm gonna put my pig inside. And it's already so late, so I'm not going to focus so much on socializing. I think I'll actually just skip out and ignore it altogether. Because I want to make sure that I get my stuff planted. Oh, it's also so nice to see these mushrooms coming back because I had pretty much completely ran out. I just have to find my pig. I don't know where it is. Ah, here you are. All right, let's put him back inside. Make sure to feed him. I am also running very dangerously low on pet food. I should probably think about swinging by Mirabelle's. I might do that tomorrow because I also have to consider investing in some clippers for my adult sheep. I could also do that today, really. I could swing by and see if she has a decent one with a few wonderful slots in them. And because I'm too lazy to walk all the way over to the cafe, I'm just gonna really quickly eat something here at the diner just to get a little bit of stamina back. Not as much recovery as I would get from the cafe, unfortunately, but... It'll do for now. Alright, Mirabelle, what do you got? I'll buy some pet food. I think I'm good on fodder for now. I'm not desperately low. Uh, chicken feed, I still have some of. Oh, and we have a four-slot clipper. I don't think I'm ever going to need a four-slot uh, pair of clippers, but that's pretty decent. So, I mean, I'm just going to buy them because I think that's about the best... That I'm gonna get in terms of wonderful slots. She's also selling a four slotted brush which is pretty cool and hopefully I can find a milker with at least three slots. We still have a little while to actually buy the milker because our cow is still a calf so I'll definitely keep my eyes out for that. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna have to fill in some slots here. I think I will put the potatoes and the turnips on the uh, left side of the field here, and I will put the cucumbers and the strawberries on the right side. I don't know why, it's just random. 
my brain thought, oh, that'll look nice. And again, now that I'm getting back into picking up a ton of stuff, I am probably going to have to do a little bit more inventory management than I've been used to in the last little while, but that's okay because I actually have a decent amount of space now. I don't have to fight for space as much. So obviously the strawberries and the cucumbers I'm going to have to make a little chart for and uh, keep track of the sun and the water points. But once again, turnips and potatoes are very easy to grow and I would probably just water them when it's sunny and uh, just kind of go with the flow. I don't recall myself ever killing a potato or a turnip harvest. They're, they're very, very resilient and very easy to grow. Uh, turnips especially because they come in so quickly. So I am going to be keeping a, a careful eye on some of my crops and knowing where I'm putting them will also help me do this. So turnips there, we will put potatoes right next to it here, and then we will put our cucumbers and our strawberries over here. Alright, it's gonna rain tomorrow, so I am just going to leave them. I'm also running out of time, so I don't really have time to uh, water them any anyways. But what I can do, at the risk of using up a ton of stamina, is I can get a little bit of a head start on my rice patty. I can demonstrate that really quick before we end our first very, very busy day here. So just to review, you absolutely need a yellow wonderful to be able to use the rice patty. You have to have one in your hoe to be able to till, and you have to have it on your sickle to be able to um, gather that product once it's done. So I've put the red wonderful on so I'm able to do two squares at a time, which is a little quicker. And rice takes a grand total of 50 days to grow. So you want to plant rice as early as possible. And as I've mentioned, the absolutely great thing about rice is once you plant it, you really don't have to monitor it at all. It just grows itself, which is great. You just plant it and you leave it and you make sure you just kind of check back you know, when you, th when you think it's close to being done. Because you certainly don't want to miss out on that. You don't want to go over the amount of time that it's grown and lose out on a whole, you know, half a year's worth of work. So, yeah, I had to charge the weapon, or not the weapon, I had to charge the tool, obviously, to be able to have that yellow wonderful take effect. And uh, other than that, it's just like planting your normal crops. And I'll have to finish that up tomorrow. Because it's raining, it'll be a great opportunity for me to do that. Because I'll have a day off from watering. So that's the start of our season. <laughs> Staying up till 1.30 in the morning to get our stuff planted. And to make sure all our animals are inside and... You know, just regular farm type stuff. So we will continue on, hopefully soon. And we'll get to see what else we can get up to in spring of our second year. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope that I will see you next time.